communism. God damn it. Why are you fucking talking Always. about communism? Why? Because I'm trying to learn more about it. It's a waste of time. Why not you learn something that actually wait, matters? Wait, 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 wait. How do you say that it's a waste of time? Don't you think that the most important thing about like arguing for a certain thing, like if you're a capitalist or whatever position that you hold, if you want to like argue against the other position, shouldn't you understand it like extremely well? If somebody told you that you should invest 15 hours into learning about which universe is better, the Star Wars or the Star Trek universe, what would your answer mm -hmm. be? Star yeah, Wars. but that's not comparable. Exactly. You would say, well, I'm not going to waste my time on some fantastic, yeah. like, delusional shit. Communism is the same shit. Nobody seriously, like, ever considers communism. Nobody ever, like, academically contends with it. There is no academic research or academic studies with anything having to do with socialism or communism. It's not something that anybody that's educated in economics or philosophy even, like, takes seriously. Like, it's a big fucking meme that white, rich men on the internet talk about because they have no other way to virtue signal to each other how cool they are. Like, there's literally, like, if you wanted to learn about... I'm sorry. Wait, holy shit. Hold on. I'm sorry. But, I just but, realized I'm... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me back up. Hold on. I just realized I'm in like super fucking debate mode. Whew, let me just take a deep breath. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, wait, start over. Go. I'm sorry. How did you, but how did you arrive at those conclusions? Did you arrive at them like through educating yourself? Because I personally like to arrive at these conclusions by like personally mm -hmm. um, learning about these things. And I don't just like go off of what other people think. I think that people should be able to investigate these theories and like give them like genuine consideration and understand how they're operating and i don't think that pursuing um, knowledge and education is ever a bad thing so yeah that's tr I, I guess at the end of the day the only thing that matters is what your goal is so for me when i debated conservatives every mm -hmm. issue that i had to research and every issue that i dug into was hyper relevant to today's political landscape and is hyper relevant mm -hmm. to almost every issue facing america today like if i'm going to argue about immigration like it gives me perspectives on DACA. It gives me perspectives on California. It gives me perspectives on ICE. It gives me perspectives on our economy. It gives me perspectives mm -hmm. on H-1B visas, right? If I want to argue about like race realism, it gives me perspectives on race in the United States, on black people in education. Like there's so much cool shit that I learn about when I argue with like conservative viewpoints. Like I feel like I mm -hmm. learned so much relevant stuff. When I argue with lefties, I learn about the history of the USSR, I guess, like the Great Leap Forward in China, um, different coups in South America. Like none of it is really that relevant to like nothing about like communism as an economic system itself is really relevant to having an understanding of, of anything that goes on today in the United States. Like I can't use an understanding that I have now. Like I spent so much time reading. Like, I can tell you mm -hmm. so much about socialism and communism, but I don't know anything more about our economy for it. It doesn't give me any more insight in, into how the financial markets work, how capital markets work, how like foreign trade or foreign investment works. It doesn't teach me anything about that. It's literally, I only learned this information so that I can debate other lefties. But after I yeah. like leave them, there's nowhere else that this information was. Now there's nothing wrong with that. I guess like just for me, like I, I feel like I have limited time to like do investigations and spending it on like lefty shit just seems like it felt, I'm being really direct, I'm not lefty shit, but like spending but, it like reading about communist socialism just seems like it doesn't carry over into anything worthwhile. Yeah, but I'm not investigating communism to better understand mm -hmm. like other, other things. I'm looking into communism in order to understand it as a political theory, like in and of itself. Gotcha, okay. And like I, People like people. People are communists. People are socialists. People are capitalists. People are anarchists. And I think that it's important for me, at least. Um, I want to know where I stand. Mm -hmm. And in order to understand where I stand, I need to understand what all the options are. And if I'm against something, if I have an opinion that my system is better, or that my opinion is that this system is superior, I don't want to just retort to well, like, why would I even look into the other options? Like, I want to actually know or understand why my system's better and, like, what the faults are in the other systems. And, yeah. Okay. That's good. I'm sorry. Do you feel like that's wrong? No, like, there's like nothing wrong. Just like blindly accept. Like, you can uh, spend time like capitalism? researching or reading whatever makes you happy and whatever mm -hmm. you enjoy. And it, it sounds like really dismissive of what I'm saying, but honestly, at the end of the day, you should just like read about what makes you happy. Like, don't don't let me tell you. I'm sorry. I'm like in a. I don't know why. If it's a, I'm in a super combative mood. Um, don't let me it's tell a, you like what you should or shouldn't read about. Like that's totally. Um, it, it's it's at the end of the day, it's whatever you choose to do. That's fine. Um, I mm -hmm. I just get like, um. In the same way that I get irritated when climate science denialists try to present like anti or, or, or better yet anti-vaxxers when anti-vaxxers come up and they say, well, I think it's just worth it to you to read into the research for why anti-vaccination is good. Um, 
it, it, it feels like a waste of time and I get irritated that they present it as like a valid opinion, much the same way that when socialists or communists come up and try to present their economic systems as valid alternatives to capitalism, it just feels very disingenuous to me. Like it's fun, like fringe political theory to read about. Um, and it can be fun to like jerk other like fringe political theorists a a off about. But at the end of the day, like there are no serious mm -hmm. libertarian or communist or socialist communities almost anywhere in, in the world, um, at least not in the Western mm -hmm. world. So like it, it's, it's, fun to read about and it can be good. And even if you are a communist, I guess it can be fun to like explore that position and have it. Just don't ever let people bullshit you into thinking that these are like ever anywhere near mainstream, like economist, uh, economist thoughts or, or like political yeah. theory thoughts. Like they're, they're totally fringe. Even the communist and socialist stuff. Oof, I'm sorry. Okay. That's it. I'm, I'm very jaded by the, the my no, dealings with those okay. community, like fucking yeah. irritates a fucking But me. like, mm -hmm. I think, don't you get triggered when like socialists come on and they haven't read into it? Like yeah, I do. Like, yeah, but it, yeah, yeah, but exactly. So yeah, like, sure. Should like look into it and like educate themselves because like you you can't really say like oh well, don't even look into it. But then like simultaneously like um kind of come for socialists when they haven't read into it or like educate themselves. Mm -hmm. And even like I feel like we should hold that same energy for people that believe in capitalism. It's also really like I think that it's dumb to hold a strong opinion for anything without looking into it. Like even if you believe in the mainstream opinion, don't just believe it because everyone else believes it. You should probably still educate yourself and understand not only your um political opinion or orientation but also understand the like the um the objections towards it the counter objections you can although yeah you can the, the, at the end of the day the only consideration is that there's only so much time um and mm -hmm. then every now and then making an appeal to academic authority is okay like for me personally like i don't know a lot about some of the deeper theories relating to say like flat earth theory or people that don't believe in like the theory of evolution like i'm sure that ken mm -hmm. hoban could teach me a lot about how the earth is only six thousand years old there's a lot of stuff i don't know there um in that case i'm okay accepting like scientific consensus on something like i'll, I'll just take their word for it because I, I don't have the time at the end of the day to do all those like deep dive investigations mm -hmm. like i feel I comfortable talk. at this point saying that like in terms of internet communists or anarcho communists or or, or all forms of anti-hierarchy people or socialists or whatever i feel like i know about as much or more than like 50 percent or more of them because holy fuck these guys are stupid and i don't feel like i'm any better off for it i feel like it was a massive fucking waste of time and i'm disappointed in myself that i let myself get sucked down this hole of learning about this fringe political theory bullshit. i'm sorry i'm being really negative hold on i'm letting the game up it's okay <sighs> it's okay yeah i'm sorry um I think but that do you do you feel like that's a waste of your time because yes. by virtue of edu by virtue of educating yourself and especially on a huge platform if you knew nothing about communism you wouldn't be able to educate other people on the faults of communism even if it seems really obvious to you that comes from a a point of view that is like um, educationally privileged other people might not have the same education to come to that conclusion and because you have educated yourself and you see that it's so clearly wrong you're able to effectively advocate and educate other people and thereby kind of create that change or um, show other people that they're that they're, that they're wrong yeah kind of but like the, the the idea is that like I would never spend I don't spend time on my stream seriously advocating for vaccines because I don't have a community of anti-vaxxers. Much the same way that like, when I was debating a bunch of like, um, a bunch of like alt writers, like I don't have to stop and like remind people, hey guys, just you know, communism is bad. Because communism and socialism are things that are like, okay, there's like no point in even considering these things. Um, like, w like we're not gonna waste time like talking about these. Um, I guess like at the end of the day, like it, it's literally as ironic as it is like studying about communism and socialism was the most like circle jerky shit I could have ever done because I literally only learned about these things to to debate like other lefties because none mm -hmm. of this helps my broader understanding of the American economy or, or the worldwide economy. Like it, I, I didn't gain any information there. And it's yeah. But yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Couldn't, couldn't you like maybe you didn't under like you didn't gain any sort of knowledge on like how our current um, economy works or anything, but mm -hmm. you gained the understanding on why you are a capitalist and you like it's it's still important to educate yourself. I understand the argument that like mm -hmm. people might not have time for it. And in that case, that's like mm -hmm. that's valid. Maybe you don't have enough time to look into it and I don't blame or fault people. But if people are going to go out there and they're going to advocate that they're like or strongly hold opinions that, oh, well, no matter what your political opinion is, if you are going to strongly hold that opinion, you better have looked into it. You better be educated and not only be educated on the opinion that you hold, but the opposing opinion so that you know that your opinion is better than others. Yeah, I mean, it's valuable for that reason. Yeah, sure. 
if you if you want to, that's fine. You just don't have the time to do that on every single issue. But at the yeah, end of the of day, course. and this is the but important part, one. yeah, the issues that you choose to look into are totally personal to you. If this is something mm-hmm. that's fun for you or fascinating, then fuck everything I'm saying and just do do whatever's fun for you because it's better to do that than do nothing. Um, but it, yeah, I guess the way that I look at it is at the end of the day, I don't have the time to validate like every single position I have um, yeah, against the contrary because it's, yeah. And in communism and socialism, just some of those topics that just, in my opinion, don't give you much insight on other things. So I tend, I, well, I say I tend to stay away from it, but I've wasted so much time in the past year on them. But yeah, ugh. It's all good. <sighs> Just don't, please don't turn into a communist because I'm going to fucking kill myself if I have to listen to you say real dumb shit. I don't shit, think okay? that I will, know that I am pursuing education. <laughs> I'm trying to just get more educated on it. I don't, I don't, I'm saying that I'm, uh, I've heard the term sock dem, mm-hmm. like social democrat. Yes. I, someone added me with a definition in like a Twitch chat. So I'm What did they tell you sock dem meant? Um, a social democrat is someone who believes in democracy, but believes that there should be like more um, like safety nets sure. and um, a little bit more socialization. Like I agree with like Canada's um, socialized healthcare. Mm-hmm. I like our system better than, for example, like the states. Mm-hmm. Um, I agree with those two things. I don't know the broader implications. I haven't looked into like exactly what it means. Um, so I don't like actively or strongly identify it as it, but it might be. Uh, something that I identify as in the future. If I look into it and it resonates. Yeah, cool. All right. I um yes, I am a sock dem. So that's a cool, cool. position to hold. Um, very, very, very important thing to keep in mind. A mm-hmm. sock dem, a social democrat, mm-hmm. still believes in capitalism. Okay, they are sure. characterized by that belief. Now, some okay. people will try to bring up these weird 1950s definite whatever bullshit. It's bullshit. Sock Dems are very clearly capitalists. That's why they believe in things like safety nets as ways to kind of keep a check on capitalism. Mm-hmm. So at some point, some little Weasley fucking piece of shit is going to try to say like, hey, if you're a Sock Dem, you're basically a democratic socialist because social democrat and democratic socialists are pretty close to you. Absolutely not true. Okay, a democratic socialist is somebody that is an actual socialist that doesn't believe in capitalism, that wants to totally overhaul or delete that that system of capitalism and replace mm-hmm. it with something closer to like a socialist or ultimately a communist government, but generally like a socialist form of government, which means no like private ownership of things like houses um, to rent to other people or private ownership of businesses, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just mm-hmm. remember that sock dem and democratic socialists are two very different things, okay? Yeah. Thus far, I think that um, sock dem is probably what I'm, what I identify as most, cool. from what I understand it at least. Also, but I still, I still want to learn more about. Yep, and you know what? Just because I'm a sock dem, you don't have to be a sock dem. You can be whatever you want. Okay, yeah. Even a communist. <laughs> anything but that. Yeah, How no. are you gonna say I can't be a communist, but then say that I could be anything I want? Does that mean that I can be a communist? You ever argued with libertarians? Um, I'm not argued. I don't. Okay, I don't think that it's wrong to use the terms like arguing or, or like debate etc however when i talk about these issues even with people that have opposing opinions i tend to call them conversations because i think that it's pretty unproductive typically the second that someone gets on the defensive they they, they shut down and they start they'll like argue be, like they'll ego debate or they'll start um arguing like dishonestly mm-hmm. like i find that like even if <laughs> even if you strongly disagree with people you have to like you don't have to, but in order to literally affect change, if you're if that's what you're trying to do, you like come to a conclusion together, and you um I call them conversations. I I don't like to get like superheated or, um yeah. Sure, you can call them what you want. It's a semantics mm-hmm. thing, a discussion, a debate, yeah. a conversation. At the end of it, yeah, um, yeah. I the um I only bring up yeah. <sighs> um, why am I arguing? I'm trying to think of what I'm arguing about right now. Just. <laughs> Just it's please okay. Be careful. I love debates. It's okay. okay. Just sometimes people want to fucking sell you the moon, okay? And mm-hmm. it's just a big bag of rotten cheese at the end of the day. And it's just when I see people go down that road, it makes me very sad. Um, if you if you if you're trying to learn about communism and you talk to a bunch of communists, man, it is communism is the coolest fucking thing ever. Okay, we eliminate every single unjust hierarchy, every mm-hmm. single workplace, the, all the workers get to vote on the policies and everything they want. Um, people do work because they love doing work. We don't have to waste time with things like currency. Um, we don't produce products just to fucking produce more and sell it to people. Instead, we only produce what society needs and we know what everybody needs because we all vote on it. And it's like the best fucking thing in the world and there's mm-hmm. absolutely nothing wrong with it, okay? Just be careful who you talk to when you, talk, when you start talking 
talking economic systems because goddamn people will fucking feed you so much shit. It's the same thing with libertarianism. Yeah. If you find enough libertarians, they will talk about how cool private ownership of everything is, that you don't have to worry about any governing body infringing on your rights mm -hmm. or taxing your dollars and blah, blah, blah. Like, oh God. Yeah, I hope that like if I if I approach my pursuit of education and knowledge in an unbiased manner, and I feel like I'm I'm pretty level headed, I'm pretty rational, I appreciate logic. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like if capitalism or social being a social democrat is the sound conclusion to draw, mm -hmm. then I'll arrive there. But I want to arrive there. Okay. Oh my god, I think I have to see this movie. It sounds it looks insane. legendarily horrible. It was